Hi, my name is Bill Watt. I'm a grade 12 student here at SHSS, and I'm now your student council president. Hi, I'm Riley Hetchler. I'm a grade 11 student here at SHSS, and I'm now your student vice president. Uh, what we plan on doing this year is bridging the gap between the students and the teachers. And what we're going to do this year is be able to give the students a voice on things that they want to have happen in the school. Um, so they can come to us with their ideas and then we can relay that to the administration, Madame St. Jacques. And although we won't be able to get every single thing done, what we can do is take your ideas, see what we can make work, figure out the budgets, and, and try our best to make that happen. Plan on cleaning up the back grad parking lot, you know, bringing bringing some weed whackers in and cutting down those uh, unwanted plants and maybe bringing in some uh, flower boxes to have some nice flora back there. And uh, maybe even making a few more places for people to hang out at lunch outside instead of just the tree and the other place down by the parking lot. <coughs> and uh, another project that we're working uh, with Mr. Turner with is uh, setting up speakers in the cafeteria and possibly a little jam session area. You know, a stage or like a DJ booth where you could um, uh, just hang out and play some music and uh, just create a warmer environment. Uh, for me, it was that, you know, I've been here for, this is my fifth year here, and I've, I've never really felt this school has had, I mean, since the time that I've been here, has had a really strong sense of identity or pride. Now, I said this in my speech to everyone, uh, for our campaign day or the election day and um, it's not that we don't have pride as individuals it's that as a community here um, it just doesn't feel like we're bonded as we could be. Um, yeah Will had just asked me to do it in biology class and when he told me why he was doing it I agreed with the, a lot of the same things and I noticed a lot of the same things so that really motivated me to uh, run in this election. Yeah, um, this student council that we have now is going to allow us to do that. It's going to allow students to come together. Uh, and like I said before, it's going to give them a voice. And we plan on having more assemblies and getting more uh, student involvement where everybody comes together because that's what we need to come together. Just what we need every little uh, group or, um, or clique here to come together. And uh, that's what we're going to try and make happen this year. Those activities uh, will be, um, those ideas will come from students. We don't want to tell the students what they want to come up with. We want to we want to have a voice from them. But uh, we definitely want to make assemblies a little bit more fun and a little bit more active because nobody likes just sitting there with a bunch of other people just listening to somebody talk all day. It's, ju it's just like being in class, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's basically going from one class to another, except you're not really learning what you would in that assembly. You need to have a little bit of entertainment, a little bit of activity to really get people engaged. Mm -hmm. uh, to add to that, um, I was talking with Mr. Jones uh, a couple of days ago. We want to have this, um, <clears throat> I think he referred, it, referred to it as a, a rave day or something like that. Um, but it's where we all come together and uh, something really fun happens. We'll keep that one a surprise for you. Um, just, you know, if the message comes from us as students more and if we put that message out there more rather than it always coming from teachers or just um, uh, even just from the leadership class. Now we have this other student body working along with the, the leadership class and the teachers. So we'll really be able to you know, put the message out there a lot stronger than what we could have before. Um, yeah, one of the things for a student council, um, I believe that it should be changed to student parliament. Uh, that's what it used to be when we were moment to school here. And, um, you know, it's not the most important issue here, for sure, but, um, it, it reflects our Canadian heritage and our Canadian pride as well. And we've changed the name to Prime Minister, Vice Minister for Riley. And uh, that's just a, another piece of the pride thing that we're getting going this year. Uh, we want to get more students involved with everything because everybody just comes to school and they, you know, they go through school and then they go home. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no variety to their day lots of the time. 
and uh, yeah, no, we want to get students involved and and have teacher and students have a like a better relationship with each other because there's a lot of conflict in the school between teachers and students, which uh, realistically can be avoided and shouldn't be happening, but it's just because of a lack of communi uh, communication and uh, a lack of of respect on on the student side, uh, unfortunately sometimes. Just like to say thank you guys for all your support. Um, it's been, I, I just feel so honored to have all your support this year and uh, you guys are amazing. We look forward to working with you this year. Uh, myself as well. Thank you so much to my grade 11 class for uh, supporting me throughout this election and uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah.